to all the amazing boys and girls in Skullcree Street. I presume you've heard by now that our fantastic school is holding a pancake making competition. So, how do you enter the competition? Well, all you have to do is make a batch of pancakes, take a picture of it and send it to your teacher on Seesaw. That's it. And the winner in every class will get a prize. And Miss Carol or Mr Connolly will drop it up to your house on Wednesday after Pancake Tuesday. So easy, so exciting. It'll be great. So, what do we need to make pancakes? We need flour. Any type of flour will do. We need milk and eggs. We'll also need a mixing bowl, a frying pan, any type of frying pan, and something to grease the pan, so either butter or oil. We'll also use a cup for measuring and a big spoon for mixing. Sorted. So what's the first thing we need to do before we go touching food? We need to roll up our sleeves and go wash our hands. All squeaky clean, we can go measuring. I'm going to use my cup, get my flour, and take up one full cup of flour. So, see the way the cup is full up of flour? That's perfect. Pour it into the bowl. Next is the milk. We need one cup and a half. So the same cup as you used your flour, pour it up nearly to the top. So a full cup of milk, pour it in, and a half a cup. I'm going to do just under half as this is a big cup. Just under half a cup of milk. Next is the eggs. So cracking your eggs, I'm going to crack them off the side of the bowl. So give it two soft whacks until it's cracked like this. And then stick in your thumbs and pull them apart. So you'll end up with two halves and then put those aside. Super, next it's mixing time. So for this mixing job, make sure everybody gets a turn. So make sure you get all of that flour down the bottom and stir it all up. I have decided to change over to a fork just to get rid of those last few lumps of flour. So your batter is ready when all of the lumps of flour are gone. Next job is to heat up the frying pan. So I'm going to turn my frying pan on a medium heat which will be around 6 on 9. So number 6, the frying pan is going to get nice and hot. Kids do not touch the frying pan once you have turned on because this part is going to get extremely hot. So be super careful, moms and dads can help you and if you're touching it, use the handle. So, when the frying pan starts to get warm, you can feel the heat if you put your hand over it slightly. Now it's time to add the butter or the oil. This will grease the pan and make sure that your pancake doesn't stick. So I'm going to add a small bit of butter, only a really, a really thin piece, and add it on. You'll see then it starts melting immediately. And I'm going to slide it all over the pan and make sure it's all covered. You can also pick up the pan, see the way I'm sliding the butter or the oil all the way out to the edges. Super! So when your butter is all melted and the pan is nice and hot, you can add a few, I'm using a dessert spoon again, to scoop up the mixture. So, one, two, three, and I use four spoons. When you have the four spoons on, you're going to pick up the frying pan with the handle very carefully and spin it around like this. So making the pancake Go around all the way to the edges, down to the bottom, like this. You know when your pancake's ready to flip when the little bubbles all start bursting. So I'm going to slide my slicer under it and flip it over. If anybody is brave enough, you can try to flip the pancake. So make sure you jiggle it around to make sure the pancake's not stuck. Hold it with two hands and try and slide it so you can see. And you, ah, oh, let's flip! Super! You know your pancake is finished when it goes a goldeny brown in patches on both sides. To finish off, you can add any topping you like. So I love a bit of lemon juice, sugar. So I'm going to sprinkle on, using a clean spoon into the packet, a small bit of sugar and sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle and roll it up. So all you have to do now is take a picture for Seesaw to send it to your teacher and eat. Mmm!